Hello crafters, this is Gareth from G's Creations. Today I'm going to show you how I came up with this using the Oops. Sorry guys, I'm just getting them. I always forget something when I'm starting to record a video. I think I've got everything prepped and then I forget something. So I made that using these and these are the Adrionic uh, inks, alcohol inks and I used this which is a can of compressed air so without further ado let me show you what I did so this is just a scrap of white card it's a good way of using up your scraps as well so a couple of blobs of the desired colour and spray another one now you, there's two ways you do it, you can do it over the top like this or you can go to a side like this and now the blue I recommend you have a protective um, sheeting underneath because this ink can stain quite a lot bit more purple I think for those purple purple twins out there the Donna and Kathy okay there we have it that's on the white card now I'm going to show you the the same thing using um, a different darker card and see what happens because I've not used the darker one so I thought I'd use the darker one on camera so I can show you guys yeah. so it's not going to show up as much on the darker one obviously oops way too much came out of that one You get the general idea. But you could still use that for an ATC. And then what I've done with the previous one, I've used my silver shimmer spray and give it gave it a good spray. And the gold. And I made these last night. These are my shimmer sprays. That was just with cold water, the inks, and with the perfect pearls. So for that one, I um, this one was this. Let me put the lid on so I don't spill it. So that was that's that one. For the blue, I used the. Forever Blue. It has a really nice, really come together well. And for the pinky purple, I put in some copper. I don't know how well that shows up, but it comes up. It's lovely. In fact, I'll spray them so you can see them. So move that to one side. Bring over another piece of scrap card. Morning, Mum. Yes, please. Okay, that's that one. Oh, can't get it off this one. There we go. Here's the blue. And the orange. the effect that you get using the uh, oops. there we go 
So that's another way you can use the inks. Like I was saying to a few people last night, I only got three just to see how they how they work. And there, there you go, there's the finished there's the finished sample. So I'm now going to make the ATC for you. So get an ATC base. I'm going to glue this down using some Tombow. It's nice and sunny again today, but it's very cold. I don't know what's happened to our, our spring. Last spring was gorgeous. I don't know what's happened to this one. I think it's still it's the night's holiday. I'm just gonna take this excess away. What's the weather like where you are? Are you one of the lucky ones to have 95 degrees like Kathy Byrne? Mind you, she does live in Arizona. Is it the same about Arizona? It's the heat capital of the of the south, the southwest, northeast, southwest. Yeah, southwest. You guys can tell me. All right. This is just my bin that thing that I keep here, and I'm just going to use it use a nail file and file off around the edges just to give it a smooth, coherent look. Stamp sets from Marie, so that's the under the ocean one, and this is just the um, foliage. If I've got the, I haven't got them. They're from they're by Stampendous, but I haven't got the packaging, so I can't tell you what they're called. I'm afraid. And I'm going to put a bit of um, using my inks, and I'm going to use the. The mustard stays on. Oops, where is my. It's not on the ink block yet, Gareth. That's it, put it on the ink block. That helps. And I'm going to use this round the, round the edge. this to be the centerpiece I want the background to be the piece that you know stands out so I'm not too bothered that it's not it's not a vibrant stamp right, back to Jack Black and then choose I think we're going to do the anchor on this one See that? Really subtle. Really nice. And then I'm going to choose some words from my Tim Holtz chit chat. Something relevant to the um, to the card. It's a shame it doesn't have the word anchor.
I don't know about you, but sometimes I find it really difficult to find out what to put. Because you are kind of limited by the words that they have. Um. I'll tell you what, I'll leave it as this and then I shall put the, uh, put the words on and, and put some photos up. So there's a really easy way to use your your inks and make them into sprays. So this is drying a bit better, so it's turning out quite nice. And how well you can see that on the camera. And that's the darker one, which I actually quite I quite like that. It's really nice. It's really moody, which is quite nice. I done one on some corrugated cardboard last night. That's that one. And then I done one on black. A grey black card. So that's that. So that's it for me. Thank you very much, and I will see you again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye now.